Saving throws. In previous okay. editions, saving throws were against like poison and magic and whatever. But in this one, there's actually saving throws for all six stats. They can come in handy. So say, for example, you're running down a hill and a boulder is chasing you, but you want to, you know, be a buff masking guy and stop it with your fist. Now, you actually make a saving throw with strength. Doesn't sound feasible. Well, ne neither does being able to pick up... What's 18 times 15? Uh, 18 times 15, because that's carrying max. 270 pounds. That's not exactly easy for someone to do, but you can do it in D&D. &D. Okay. So... Yep. What are the, so yeah, that's on the character right. sheet, saving throws, so. What do, saving throws. Yeah. All right, so how saving throws works, you'll notice on your sheet, there is a little dot and then a blank line before every single set. Each class is proficient with two different saving throws. You add, when you're proficient with something, you add your proficiency bonus to it. Okay. At level three, you have a plus two proficiency bonus. We'll check that out. Oh, just comparing all my numbers. Yep. Just went to a robot town. So did you. Beep boop. I am a robot. Nah, that looks that's fine. Strange. <laughs> my disguise holds up. Okay, <laughs> so remains. Druids. Druids have a proficiency in saving throws in intelligence and wisdom. So, do you really want to make a note of that? You add your plus two to intelligent and wisdom throws. I'm not sure if in the fillable sheet you can pick that little circle, but just that. Suddenly add the plus two beside the intelligence and wisdom section. Plus two? Yep, plus two, because that's your current proficiency. When you go higher levels, you're. You keep cutting out, so yeah. Yeah, okay. your audio is going not good. Lovely. Wait, who are we talking about? Uh, right now, it's just Digital Mouse. Huh. Uh, next, I've, though, is... I the put the modifiers in the little circles. Should I just move them to inside the... Blank line? The stat yeah, yeah the well, so long there. as you can see it. When you when you go to roll, so when you know, so long as you know what you have to roll, and you can ask, it's fine. It, and so I'll get the plus, like, for Wisdom, I'll get the plus three and the plus two, or...? Yep, how it works is, say I say, make a wisdom saving throw. You will add your plus two for the proficiency in your wisdom saving, plus your wisdom modifier, which is plus three. So that's plus five to whatever you roll. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. And let's see, an example of that would be a will saving throw if somebody tries to charm you. Like me? <laughs> yes, the charming dark elf. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I had a question. So, your mm -hmm. saving throws, like for strength, dexterity, whatever, are they impacted at all by the number you have? You cut out there. The number what? The number that you have. Like, yes. Okay. Yep. When you make any sort of roll, you always add your stat modifier. Okay. Where does that go on the sheet? Uh, on your sheet, on your stream, it'd be that is this little for area above throws? it. Okay, what's the mod <laughs> what are the modifiers? So strength is 17, that's what? 17 is plus 3. Okay, 11? Is 0. Okay, 15? 15. 15 is 2. 9? Uh, that's a little cut off in your stream. That's minus, minus one. 1. Okay, uh, 12? That is definitely cut off on your stream, and that It'll is catch plus up one. when I'm rolling. Okay. Plus one. And 15 again is two. Okay. Correct. All right. And then what's my bonus saving throws as a ranger? As a ranger, your bonus saving throws are compelling momentarily. Your provision in strength and dexterity. Oh, so those are plus two, plus two? Mm hmm And the little thing on the side? Okay. Oh, wow, you have a different one. Um, yeah, what, what, what's up with... Uh... That's the one I opened. <laughs> but yeah, you'll fill in it's just weird. a saving throw for the strength one and the dexterity one. Yeah. Nothing else for anything below. Yeah. All right. Stepping back to Torgo. Yep. You are the paladin. Your saving throws are in wisdom and charisma. 
Yeah. Yeah, boy. Okay. Uh, next, Rangers. Crash, of course, you already have this done, but your saving throws are in Dexterity and Intelligence. Uh, lastly is our Sorcerer. Deluxe, you are proficient in Constitution and Charisma rolls. Yes, a caster has a saving throw that's good in Constitution. <laughs> so now I, in the little... Uh... On the in the saving throw section, do I put a number by wisdom and charisma? I mm -hmm. click the little thingies. Do I put just like one or two or? You put plus two because that's what your current uh, thing is. Saving throw. Thing of the jig. Yep. That's cur that's the uh, the proper term, I'm sure. Saving throws, just flat out straight saving throws. So just for reference, so if I roll the saving throw versus strength, it would be the roll plus five. Correct. Okay. Got it. Three plus your proficiency of two. Plus Got three. it. And if you were to do your constitution, since you have no saving throws in that, it would be just plus two. Oh, okay. Fifteen plus two. Got it. And if it was intelligence, it'd be minus one. That is correct. All right. Got it. You don't want to have to save against anything being smart. Shut up. I'm good with books. <laughs> no, all, all the numbers are fudged. Okay. Uh... So for that. Oh yeah, you can also fill above that for most everybody else. Mac, uh, yours at the very top left. I still don't know what my modifier is <laughs> for oh, constitution and charisma checks. Constitution. Okay, your constitution is plus one. Oh, right. so your sorry, the, the proficiency is plus two. Right? Proficiency. Yeah, your proficiency bonus. So for my is, is that for the saving throw? Yeah. Okay, so two. Yeah, when you're proficient in something, that's you add your proficiency bonus to it. You're proficient in constitution and charisma. Okay, so two in both. Mm -hmm. All right. And then plus your stat modifiers. What is his casting stat? Does he use wisdom as well? I use charisma. He uses charisma. Oh, you use charisma for casting? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. My stat modifier for that. I was that. about to say, why did you put your highest stat in that? No. Uh, your charisma modifier is plus three because you have 16 in it. So my saving throw is five for charisma. Yep. Jesus. Okay, and constitution is. I have 12 constitution. Yep. And your modifier for that is plus one. Okay, so three. All right. And I can see everybody just, doing it. So, yep. Yeah. Oh, just out of curiosity, the um, I noticed on uh, the stream, like the little boxes above uh, Max main stats. Is that where we put like race or class bonuses? No. Uh, above his stats is proficiency bonus. Okay. And that at your current level is the plus two, and this gets applies to everything you're proficient in, whether it's attack rolls or your saving throws. I was going to mention that momentarily. Oh, okay. All right, and inspiration. This is a new mechanic in 5th edition. Uh, this is a yes or no thing. So okay. everyone starts off with having one yes for inspiration. When we're actually playing the game, at any time, you can say, I want to spend my inspiration point. In spending this, this allows you to use or... Uh, advantage you can give yourself advantage or you can give one of your allies advantage as well once this is used up in order to get it back you will i reward you the players with by uh, rp in addition to the xp your inspiration so you role play well i give you an inspiration point for later and you can use that whenever you, you get want. more than one from what i've read no yeah So if you have one already, uh, and I say I reward you one, be honest. Say I already have one, and you can decide who you want to give it to. We'll play. And we all start with one. Yeah, everyone starts with one. All right, sounds good. All right, next up is we'll go with uh, skills. Not seeing that one on. 
Okay, that one's a little bit weird on Max. But what screen. was proficiency? Or did we not? Proficiency is plus plus two. Oh, okay. That was me stuttering, not the. Minor by, yeah, by that, I guess. Yeah, yours are by the stats. Little, little weird. Makes, I guess it makes it, once you put it in a place, yeah. it knows which yeah, one we need. When using. you know about it, it's all there. Did we all need your proficiency? Because I missed that one. <laughs> and then for inspiration, we just put one. Yeah. yeah. Inspiration, one or one or yes. Because yeah. you only have one at a time. Your proficiency is just plus two. Yeah, okay. proficiency is plus two at level three. It goes up. Get a page here. Every four levels. Oh, yeah, I got it on my sheet yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, it goes up at level five, again at level nine, level 13, and level 17. Those are the increases for your proficiency. This is, that sort of reflects you becoming a better adventurer as we travel along. Don't I have like a different proficiency modifier? No. Not? Okay. Why would yours be different? Because I saw something on the saucer page being different, if I remember right. You were also looking no, at... No, I, I just copied it the wrong yeah. way. Okay. Yeah, you were looking at the uh, 3.5 drove. Long no, that's not it. I just forgot to like adjust it because I just dragged it down and just copied everything as two and not like the ongoing numbers. Okay. Fair enough. Now, skills. This is your, you know, doing stuff. I love to do stuff. I'm, I'm good at things. All right, so different classes have the ability to be good in different things. I won't even gloss over the bard. Well, let's we'll quickly gloss over the bard. Uh, well, no, we'll, we'll wait. Do... We'll wait until if Zayu shows if up in 10 minutes. If he shows yeah. up, we'll do a quick review for everything. Yeah, well, he's, he's going to have to go through from start to finish if he shows up anyway, right? Yep. Okay, so first alphabetical right. order is Druid. So the Druid for skills is proficient in the choice of two of the following arcana animal handling insight medicine nature perception religion and survival which one of those two would you like to pick digital mouse out of which ones sorry yeah that's right arcana i, I already I already have my stuff set so i could just tell you what my skills are uh, all right yeah a lot of people did go over it in advance Picking from their backstories, their racials, yeah. and whatever. And just for those at home, yeah, I'll I go. am allowing custom backstories uh, to let them pick two skill proficiencies of their choice. So this is so long as it makes sense to the backstory. So what uh, five did you end up picking total? Well, I had six total, and uh, oh right, because half off. Yeah, it's uh, survival, mm -hmm. persuasion. Mm -hmm perception medicine right insight and athletics okay um and i'm just looking at the proficiencies as well uh, i don't think i mentioned this to you you also get proficiencies in some kits you can note that down somewhere on your page in addition to whatever you were proficient with as well from your backstory for tools i get proficiency proficiency in what Herbalism kits. Oh, okay. Collecting herbs. Okay, we don't have a fighter. We don't have a monk. Paladins. Okay. All right, Togo. Um... Paladins are proficient in a choice of two athletics, insight, intimidation, medicine, persuasion, and religion. Uh, let's see here. Um, we'll go with, um, let's see, I did decide to just go with a straight soldier background. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to have athletics and intimidation okay. by default, which sounds weird for a halfling, but we'll roll with it. Um, we'll go persuasion. Uh, and what were the other ones? Insight, religion, and... Athletics, insight... Intimidation, medicine, persuasion, and religion. Uh, we'll go with persuasion and... 
those are both wisdom modifiers. Um, oof, I don't know what either of those really impact. I oh, will go with medicine. I can, you can potentially you can double ask. You can, you can always ask. I'll explain it. Typically, medicine helps you stabilize a, a downed ally. If someone goes unconscious, they have to make three saving throws. You can see on Max stream, uh, right to the left of his hit dice, it says success, failure, and death stat. Okay. Yeah, death saves rather. If you get, if you're unconscious, it's zero HP. You have to roll a D10 on your turn. Three failures, you're dead, dead. Three okay. successes, you're stabilized and alive. If you roll a critical one, that counts as two failures. A critical tw uh, 20, and that's two successes. Okay. That'll come in real handy when... Uh, I'm when never going to uh, die, so I won't worry about that. Famous last words. I hope you die first. <laughs> Heroes <laughs> never die. Really the strongest people die first. And insight? Insight is... Um, that's telling being able to tell if someone's lying to you. Ooh. Uh, or, or even anything and, like epiphanies, but mostly yeah. And, and religion? Religion is say you want or you find like a religious artifact or an unknown uh, holy symbol, you can make a religion check. It's it used to be called knowledge religion to learn more about it so you'll be able to know say if we're doing a cult or which god you're fighting sort of thing also uh, we'll you can probably convert people that could be persuasion um, I but i think i would allow a really go door to door like a jehovah's witness <laughs> so i'll go with insight okay and then there's a fifth, fifth one we select uh, no, that's depending on your race. You oh, okay, okay. Two for your background and two for your class. Some races get them. Uh, I think it's only a halfling, or not halfling, a half elf, and maybe human, but I think human's more. Right. Next up, ranger. Yeah. Okay. What do I do? All right. So, skills, you can choose three of the following. It, there is animal handling, athletics, insight, investigation, nature, perception, stealth, and survival. Okay, I think I want nature. Mm -hmm. um, or, okay, nature, animal handling, mm -hmm. and... Athletics, insight, perception, stealth, and survival. All robotic again. That's his trait. <clears throat> I guess also, medicine. As in that's the same way it goes down. Uh, identifying poisons. Yeah, that's important for me. Uh, well, actually, no, because that was going to be one from my background. Uh, yeah, I think you wanted to go, or it looked like the most suitable for you for your background was Guild Artisan, or whether or not you wanted to make a custom one. Yeah. But then for the two skills, it was what? Medicine and... Might have been Nature, actually. Mm. This book is very back and forth. That's... All right, well, whatever. So I get five. Yeah, you do get five. So survival, medicine, animal handling, nature, and investigation. You cut out on that one. Not to me. Uh, investigation, nature, animal handling, medicine, and survival. And persuasion, okay. What? I never said persuasion. Uh, what was the last one, then? Survival. On the last. Survival, okay. So that's your five. And from your background, you're taking proficiency in artisan. What is wrong with your sound? Everyone else comes through fine, and you're the one who's close to me. 
Yeah, that's really Where's cool. the Discord server? Mm. Could be mine, I think. Not where, like, not whose server it is, but where it is located. I don't know. Where do I see that? Probably New York. <laughs> um, you can go to your server when you right-click on it. Yeah. I have to do it on mine, and then you can go to, uh, what does it say? There's server settings. It's like the second option. Server settings, okay, yeah. And when US you click on that, the yeah. first tab is like server location. US when you change the location, Discord will like reset, and no. everybody's going to like cut out for a bit. Yeah, US East is as good as we're going to get, I think, so. I guess. Like, if I'm not robotic, then it should be good enough. Yeah, like, you're I'm fine, but Logan's not. So it's a weird thing. Whatever. Yeah, it All is right. weird. Well, I'm also on a new computer, so I, but I doubt that's the cause. Who mm -hmm. knows? All right. Maybe someone's torrenting something in the neighborhood. <laughs> um, well, I'm on high speed. I don't know. All right. Next up, Rogue. Crash. Yo. What's up? What uh, skills did you take proficiency in? You get to shoot a choice of four class alone. Yeah, and then I had two from core and then two from my background. So I'll just tell you all of them, okay? Okay. Acrobatics, athletics, deception, insight, investigation, perception, sleight of hand, stealth. Okay, that's a quite a bit. Well, rogues are skill monkeys. Oh, yeah. You and... better skill monkey if I were godly statted like somebody so what was my oh what was my other thing for being able to do alchemy wait what'd you say what was my other thing that i was able to do alchemy for my background you're proficient in uh artisan tools alchemy specifically so okay so where would i put that <laughs> teachers and traits okay so was it proficient proficient al uh alchemy artisan tools artisan is, is that pudding that that Zayu character is dancing on top of? I believe it's flan. The hell is flan? Type of pudding. It's essentially a type of pudding. Uh, fancy pudding for pudding. fancy people. Yeah, see, it's it's rich people pudding. It's nice. almost got the text, texture of uh, cheesecake, really. Excuse me, nice. it's pronounced flan. Well, it's flambe. pronounced flambe. It's pronounced gif, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you pronounced it correctly, Deluxe. You're damn fucking right. <laughs> um. So wait, we... do we add our? Yep. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Do we add our proficiency bonus to Spot our testing? skills? Uh, if you're proficient with that skill, yes. Oh, oh so the ones I picked, I get all get plus two then. Correct. Yes. Okay, I'll need. And yeah, that's why you picked them. You add your proficiency bonus. Okay. So, not everyone, say, for example, proficient in athletics, but you might also have to run. Oh, hey, um, Logan, did you want to know what my expertise was in? Uh, yes. And for those not aware, expertise is a rogue skill that allows you to apply double your proficiency to three specific skills. What proficiencies are is your expertise in? Wait, it's three? I thought it was two. Uh, I thought it was three. Maybe it's the feet that's three. Uh, expertise. I mean, Choose three, two. Yeah, no, it's two. Darn. Choose two of your skill proficiencies. Okay, I did perception and thieves tools. Okay. I wasn't expecting thieves tools, but wow, good one. Good choice. Thank you. Oh yeah, that's that's one of the one of the Look things. Look at Crash. Honey potting this entire thing. Yeah. He's like, oh, Wait, rogues are good, are they? Okay, I guess I, I guess it's okay. They, no, 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 the, the book specifically suggests it. Yeah, it does. So, Logan, do you like uh, long walk? you like long walks on the beach with rogues? I do. I do. I like that a lot. I've been discovered. Okay, so is, what else do we need to create? Deluxe's proficiencies. Okay. Don't worry, I don't like nothing. <laughs> do His it. first proficiency is butt touching. And the second one is dick touch. There you go. All set. Uh, that's it. <laughs> Done. No, uh, deception, awesome. insight, mm -hmm. intimidation, mm -hmm. perception, and persuasion. That was six? That's five. Oh, five. All oh, right, because you get perception for being an elf. And also, Dale added, asked a question in chat, 
Uh, the spells rangers and paladins get are they clerics? They're divine, not priest spells. Slightly different. It, it's a matter of the source. Uh, they prepare them in advance at the start of the day, um, and they need, <laughs> usually need a holy relic to channel them. So, uh, <laughs> divine casters, you will need to buy a 